What up everyone? It's your girl Amtat here. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope that your holiday season is going by fabulously so far. I noticed there have been a lot of questions centered around what are the exact products that I use or how do I go about measuring all of my meals. And I wanted to take the time today to show the products that I used and how I went about measuring my meals. So if this is the first time you come into my channel, well, first of all, welcome. And second of all, I will put the link down below so that you can see the full diet in the workout routine because I'm only gonna be talking about the exact products and how to measure in this video. And if you wanna see the full diet, then I'll put that down below and check that out. You know what I'm talking about, know where I'm coming from with everything with this. The protein powder that I used is the 100% gold standard whey protein powder. Now this is a big old tub <laughs> that I got. This tub makes about 73 shakes in it. It's a lot. I want to say that this cost me about $50 including tax and um, I bought this from GNC but um, you can also buy this through Amazon. I've seen it on there. You could probably get it cheaper on Amazon or you can actually go to Optimum Nutrition's website and possibly buy the product through them. <laughs> and they also sell a smaller size. So if you don't want to go for the big tub that'll cost you upwards of $50 because that is kind of expensive for a protein powder. I definitely understand that. But they do have a smaller size that uh, will make probably about 25 drinks or a little bit more probably. I haven't really looked into that size too much, but it's upwards of about $30 for the smaller size. And this is not sponsored by Optimum Nutrition, not at all. This is just the product that I use. This will give you 24 grams of protein for only one gram of sugar. Now, compared to a lot of other protein powders, that is what I liked the most. I got the most amount of protein out of it with barely any grams of sugar. And now the thing to remember though with protein powder, and I feel like this is a big misconception that a lot of people think with protein powders, is that they will actually make you lose weight. Now, protein powders are not meant to make you lose weight. They're only meant to help you get in more protein into your diet. Um, with the amount of working out that I did, I needed to take in more protein. So this is what really helped. Now if you just drank protein shakes and expected to lose weight from drinking protein shakes, you may actually have adverse effects and it may actually make you gain weight. So if you do protein shakes, definitely you have to have a balanced diet and work out with it. That is very important to remember. This protein powder, it's a very fine sort of powder. It's really soft. It's not grainy at all. And um, pretty much just put this, like one scoop, the scoop does come in the container. Do one scoop into like a shaker bottle that has like one of those little cage balls in there. I think they're called blender bottles, I believe. Yeah, I have one of those. Just put one scoop inside of the bottle, shake it up with one cup of the fat-free milk, or if you wanna do soy milk or almond milk, you can definitely do that. Just one cup of that, shake it up, and you are good to go. And I wanna say, what, what flavor do I have? I think I have vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. So when it came to measuring the meat, this was probably the more difficult part because everything else, you're just using either a measuring cup or, well, that is what you're using. You're using a measuring cup for everything else. The meat is probably the more difficult one to kind of measure out. For breakfast, I would do three ounces of chicken, and then for dinner, it would be six ounces of chicken or fish. So you could go out and you could buy a food scale, do that whole thing. But if you're like me, I don't wanna spend all the money to go buy a food scale. I'm not a professional. This is just something that I kinda of just read up on, just kinda of heard about it as like a quick way to just kinda of measure out ounces of meat. You could take the palm of your hand and just kind of eyeballing the palm. That will be considered 
three ounces. I know it's not exactly three ounces, but it comes pretty close. And then I know everybody's hands are different sizes. I get it. I don't want to hear it. I totally understand. Don't freak out on me. If that's all you have, then definitely you'll make it work. So that'll be three ounces. And then for dinner, two palms will be six ounces of meat. And then yeah, back to the vegetables and the cottage cheese or any other item that I needed to measure, I would just get a measuring cup and just measure it out. I realize that this is all outside of the workouts and stuff like that. I'm not really describing the workouts this time, but trust me guys, it is not easy. Trust me when I say that this is not easy. I hated every day that I had to measure out everything that I ate. It was so freaking annoying to have to do it. If you want to make a change in your life, you will find a way to make it happen. Like, believe me when I say, I was that person that made every excuse in the book of why I couldn't do a diet or I couldn't do a workout up until this point up uh, well actually last year up until last year when I decided that I wanted to join the military and do this whole diet and do the whole thing that was when I really just had to push all the excuses out of the window and make it happen even if it starts with small steps of just you changing your diet just because it might turn out that you can't really fit in the workouts during the day. It's not a problem at all. As long as you changed something, that is better than doing absolutely nothing. Just know that I believe in you and I know that you can do it. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this answered a couple of questions that you all may have had about the protein powder that I use and about how I went about measuring my food. And please like and subscribe. And as always guys, stay awesome.